couple sentences. Tell me what this movie's about. Um, we like to call it like a modern gothic tale of crime and redemption set in a small Mennonite community and it's about a, uh, a Mennonite cop with a history of violence who's trying to redeem himself in the eyes of the town and when there's the first murder in the community in 80 years uh, he takes it upon himself to try and help solve the crime and as, a, as, a, as a catalyst to prove to people that he's a changed man. It's a very unique story. Do you have any personal experience with um, the Mennonite community? Um, I mean, yes and no. I mean, it, Two of my close friends sort of grew up Mennonite, and, and, and I think when I was originally writing the film, I just sort of set it in a generic sort of religious community, and then, okay. um, you know, I, well, as sort of I got sort of influenced by their musicians, and as I got influenced by some of their work and some of the stories they were telling me, I thought it would actually be to make it even more specific, because it's actually, you know, I didn't realize at the time, like, uh, southwestern Ontario is like a huge Mennonite population. It is. My family lives actually near there, and I've had a lot of interaction and, and spent a lot of time, so it's a very interesting subject matter. Yeah, and I really like specificity because I think you know I think specificity actually breeds universality in terms of the story. The more specific yeah. it is, the more you can see how people relate to something. Um, yeah, you personalize it more. Yeah. It's, it's a specific community. Yeah, like if you try to make something generic, like you know, general, like you know, American kind of everywhere, like yeah. that doesn't actually that really actually makes it I think more inaccessible because it doesn't actually mean anything. Right.